Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, today I've got something very, very cool for you guys. Uh, this is something I've been trying to do since, like, Minecraft 1.6. And that is when you actually kill a mob, um, it drops a custom loot chest. Right. I uh, was a very, very big um, EverQuest player. And um, the most sweetest sound you could ever have when you killed a mob was uh, a random chest drop. Okay, uh, that then had like some epic loot or just some loot that wasn't kind of normal. So that was amazing. It was such a cool feeling to actually kill kill a mob that has a special loot in it. Now, as you can see, this is absolutely relative to wherever the uh, the the, um, the actual mob is. Um, but this particular mob will then not actually drop XP. So you'll actually see it'll work even on peaceful mobs. It can work. Um, now, obviously, this is not too useful uh, in kind of just normal maps. Or you can. You can really randomize it that, uh, you know, if one out of every hundred zombies that gets killed drops something. Um, that is, you know, very, very possible to do. So this is just a basic concept, and I would love to see how you guys actually imp improve on this. So um, you can actually also do it with the boss mobs. So if I just make a very, very quick change here, and I have, for example... Uh, a little boss mob here called Alphaba, and I then just, let me just quickly spawn a couple of more things just to show you that it, it now works. So if I now, for example, do kill uh, a skeleton, okay, nothing kind of happens. Uh, if I kill a, uh, you know, chickens, nothing happens. I can even leave the XP orbs, so I don't actually even have to worry about the XP orbs, okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave that there. But now, why is she hiding in, don't hide in, get out, get out of there, get, get, Get out, get out, get out, get away. Okay, let me just quickly teleport so that we can see where she is. Um, TP at uh, E um, name equals alpha bar to uh, at P. Okay, right, cool. So now if I kill her now, okay, number, you'll see that ta -da, only she dropped a chest. Okay, so even though I had all of these XP orbs, well, they disappeared now. Uh, even though I had all of the XP orbs lying around, only when she was killed did the youngest XP orb actually get um, get the chest. So how this works is, first off, uh, I kind of got this I the idea of teleporting entities to XP orbs from Seth Bling's video that he made. So if you just do that, you know, wherever I throw this, it'll actually spawn a, a chest. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm testing for an XP orb, but the most important thing is I'm testing for the youngest XP orb, right? This is why I could have all these XP orbs lying around, but when I killed Alfalba, it teleported it to wherever she was, okay, or where she used to be. Um, okay, well, that was almost dangerous. Okay, so I'm testing to see uh, the youngest XP orb. When I find that youngest XP orb, this comparator is going to turn on. Okay, and it's going to summon a falling sand entity that's going to change into a chest that can have any, any, any item in it that you want, any kind of item, okay? And it's going to drop it right on top of uh, these two blocks, okay? So you'll see that it teleports it, I should actually make this a little bit higher, uh, four blocks up and it starts falling. But the moment um, it starts falling, I then teleport that falling sand entity to to uh, the youngest XP orb. Okay, so this is why it works. It's just these three command blocks. And then all I do is I play a custom sound and then I just clear all XP orbs uh, in the world. This just stops this thing from jamming up if um, you know, you've got any un unclaimed XP orbs. Okay, the way that Alfalba works is all I've got is I'm testing for a player or I'm testing for an entity named Alfalba. When is she is found? Okay, she will then turn on this comparator. This command block is empty. Uh, it can be any block. Uh, it then turns it on, which turns off this torch. Okay, which then um, turns off this signal. Right, so let me exp let me show you what, it, uh, what I mean. So if I spawn her, okay, you'll see it now turns off this torch. The moment she is killed, she is no longer found, which turns off this comparator, which turns on this torch, which then runs this whole sequence. Okay, so I wonder if I, if I can... Let me teleport her to me, and then you guys can actually see this in action while she's she's struggling for, for her life. Okay, now come back. Come. She doesn't want to be here. Okay, she doesn't want to come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Okay. Nah, okay, I'm going to have to do it this way then. So you can see... And if I kill her now, you'll see it'll drop the chest. Okay, so that is 
pretty pretty cool guys that yeah so i mean as i said you can do so much with this you can have any mob drop anything you just need to work on the mechanic that detects them and then just use this very 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 simple mechanic i mean as you can see i can drop this anyway which is so okay i just need to turn off this uh alfalba thing over here let me just break that and turn this back on again oopsie turn this back on again now if i drop this anywhere i will just get these chests all over where's the xp pardon the, the xp is us oh, because this is a bottle of enchanting okay right so there we go cool guys thank you very much for watching and as always i will check you all later